Welcome to our program. Glad you are with us tonight. The Missouri Tigers bounced back in a big way Saturday with a 24-10 victory over South Carolina. And Gary Pinkle's Tigers started a true freshman at quarterback, something Pinkle said he had never done in his entire coaching career. KOMU 8's Tom Cackley breaks down Drew Locke's performance in Missouri's first conference win. Well, right now it's a little overwhelming to say the least. <laughs> That's what Drew Locke said about the media swarm after the game. But his first start against an SEC opponent in front of more than 66,000 people? You know, it was a lot of pressure to, to be under. Didn't seem to bother the true freshman. I'm, I was happy, to say the least, that I had some series under my belt. You know, I didn't, I'm glad it wasn't my first time ever playing in that situation. Offensive coaches kept the game plan simple, but let Locke throw it 28 times. Most of those passes gained short yardage, but they kept the chains moving. And when it came to executing in the red zone, the freshman excelled. This laser of a throw right on the money to Nate Brown showed off elite arm strength and accuracy. He's a very, very talented young guy, and he's got tremendous potential. But he wasn't perfect Saturday. Oh, almost picked to win right through the hands of T.J. Holloman. Locke almost threw a pick six in the third quarter, which could have tied the game. And this play early in the game had South Carolina coach Steve Spurrier fuming. It could have easily been called a safety. But in the end, Locke says he's happy to get that first win. You know, to actually finally start here and get that win on my belt is pretty good. After one start and one win, Gary Pinkle wouldn't comment on the state of the quarterback situation. But if Drew Locke is the quarterback for next week, he'll face a much tougher test. The Florida Gators rank 21st in the nation in total defense. Reporting from Faroe Field, Tom Cackley, KMU 8 Sports.